What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It's I, Alex Corna, and I'm back with another tuning video. Today, we're still using the Ferrari Pista, but I have managed to put it into A-Class. It is fantastic. It wins all the A-Class races, and I've got a tip on how to make it go faster than what it appears. Uh, if you just go full speed, it'll just sit there and bounce off the rev limiter. And I got a little bit of tech that I've been working on with Dusty. Uh, my buddy, he's Dustin underscore TV over on Twitch. Go check him out. He's really good. Uh, him and I have been working, building together, and uh, he taught me a little trick that makes this pista even faster in each of the classes that you put it in. So uh, let's dig right into it, all right? So for the performance, we go to the engines. We have the 7.0 liter V8 equipped. That's our engine. Uh, for engine parts, you're going to go over and you are going to put on the Pro Induction. You're going to put on the Elite ECU. You're going to put on the Elite Fuel System. You're going to put on the Elite Exhaust. For the Supercharger, it is uh, vital that you make sure you get this one right. Uh, you need to put on the Roots Pro Supercharger. Any of these other pieces are going to just bump it all out of the class and it's just going to get wild. So um, just make sure you put on the Roots um, Pro Supercharger. I had a couple people comment about that. That's why I want to be very clear. Uh, you do get to put Elite NOS in it. So you've got a full NOS bottle. For the chassis, I do road suspension. Um, I do Elite brakes. We get to do uh, Elite tires. Grip. It is a grip build after all. Elite clutch comes installed. Transmission. The sport transmission. Very important you put that on there, otherwise this car is going to be an S+. Plus. So this is actually an S+, plus car. We've just made it top out at 128. <laughs> um, the differential, you can get away with any of these that you want. Um, out of habit, I always grab the Elite one. But you yourself, if you're hurting for money, you could probably get away with the Basic. Because at the end of the day, you're just going to slide this slider all the way to the left. Uh, for auxiliaries, I use Nitrous Near Miss. I use Nitrous Grip. Those are up to you. You can use whatever you'd like. For handling... Um, I'm full grip, I'm two uh, clicks over for sensitivity towards the high end. That is personal preference. Play with that a little bit. Some people I know run way low, other people run super high. So just depending on how your inputs are, some people, you know, they change that. So definitely check it out. That doesn't affect the tuning characteristics of the car at all. It just affects how you are able to drive it. Downforce, I do it all the way high. Uh, you can slide this bar either direction that you want. Um, I go full downforce so that way I've got the best ability to turn and grip traction control is off drift entry is off now what I do want to do um, because this is the a-class build I want to take it um, out on the road and show you I there's no reason for me to race it um, this car is fast it is the best car in a class it's the best car in B class there's no if ands or buts about it I've had some people in the comments say oh but the top speed it's terrible I don't care what your Honda S2000 says or what your Lotus Exige says for its top speed. In the races, you're never going to get there. It There's no straightaway in either B or A where you're topping out these cars. Um, and so when this gets to its top speed immediately, and you're getting top speed between each corner, uh, this is going to pull away dramatically. So even if there is a straightaway in one of the races where they're able to start to catch up, you're already so far ahead that it doesn't matter. So this is the tech that I wanted to show you about. Uh, you'll see that I'm just holding it full throttle. Our speed going up the hill is about uh, 134, 135 maybe when we're going downhill. It's kind of clicking between left and right there. Now literally, I'm full throttle on the trigger. I'm going to try to show this to you while I'm driving. I'm going to release the trigger slowly. It's kind of a crappy take there, but what, what I'm doing is, I, instead of going full throttle, I'm actually releasing the trigger and holding it around maybe 70%, 80%. Depends on what kind of controller you're using, so each one's going to have a different zone. But instead of just topping the car out at 34, 35, I'm now going 140. I think the soft cap for this with this transmission is about 142. Uh, downhill, you can get going a little faster than that. And so you are able to make this car go faster 
And so then it, it would normally say. So some people are like, oh, you know, the best I can get my car to do is 132. Well, use a little bit better driving technique and you can go faster. So there's a lot of different little tic, uh, tips and tricks in this game. Uh, my buddy Dusty, he's working on some tech that we're, um, we're calling it <coughs> grip boosting. And it's really, really cool. Um, so when he releases that video, I'm going to link it on my channel. So when you're in the corners, just go full speed because you want that car to get back up to full. And then once you're in the straightaways again, kind of get off the hand or get off the accelerate a little bit and hold it that 60 or 70 percent depends on what controller you're using. And you can make this car go a little faster than if it's just bouncing off the rev limiter. And that is the case for all cars that are transmission bound. And by transmission bound, I mean like they've got plenty of horsepower to go faster but the gearing doesn't allow them to. So like right here, I'm going downhill. The best it'll do with like 136. And this is a terrible road to show you this on. All right, yeah, like I was saying, the best it'll do is about 136 downhill. Whereas if you go and you just Get off that accelerator just a little bit. Don't hold it full throttle, which is very counterintuitive, right? But it, it is the most optimal way to get the car to go its top speed. True top speed. So 135, 135, it's doing everything it can. Let's do better. What you you can do it by audio cues instead of looking at the speed. You want it to be at the top of the RPM range without bouncing. So every time it bounces, it resets you back down a little bit. So you kind of want to be floating right around that six and a half, just a little bit, just a little bit into the red line. And you can get it to go a little faster. I am going to join this race here, and we're going to get this going. So I'm going to show these guys what the piece it does. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something in this video, and it benefits your day. I am Alex Cornut. If you like what you got, you built one of my cars, please give me a follow on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, any of these things. If you got a car you want me to tech out and help you with, I'll do it for you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.